A Norfolk man with family in Puerto Rico will board a flight to the island in just hours thanks to the kindness of a complete stranger. We told you last night about George Rivera who hasn't heard from his family in nearly two weeks after Hurricane Maria knocked out power and cell service. Tonight, 10 on your side, Joe Fisher was there as Rivera said thank you in person to the people helping him get to his loved ones. Joe. Well, Anita, George Rivera is certainly worried about his family, but he is optimistic that when he goes to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico tomorrow, he will find them safe. We told you earlier this week about the Lynn Haven Dive Center. The business is still collecting donations and hand delivering them to the island. They're not just getting supplies there, but also Rivera. Let's see. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is a meeting of strangers that'll teach you a lot of lessons. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you for all your help. How little we have to know people. He He's, needed it and it was the, the right thing to do. To make a big impact. I wasn't expecting any of this. How in times of despair. They just, they don't have anything. We must remember what's most important. I hope to find my family tomorrow afternoon. Water, diapers, pet food, and paper towels line the floors of the Lynn Haven Dive Center, where a group of women, every single person can make a difference, have been collecting supplies for Puerto Rico and flying down on their own dime to deliver them. It's been a constant stream of people in here. I was here yesterday and almost everything from where the camera is to here came in just since yesterday afternoon. It's their efforts that got the attention of George Rivera, who's lost contact with his son and three grandkids. Well, it's been every day now for 12 days that I've been calling and, and nothing. They live in the mountains more than an hour from San Juan, where power and cell service are hard to come by. They just have to wait. They have to wait three and four hours to get a little bit of gasoline. So after hearing Rivera's story, the dive center purchased him a round trip ticket to check on his family. It just shows that there are a lot of people out there that care, that really care, that don't sit on their bus, they get up and do something. Like packing these survival kits. Generators, inverters, heavy duty power cords. A lesson in lifting people up during unexpected hard times. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me and helping my family and helping the people of Puerto Rico. Rivera flies out tomorrow morning out of Norfolk International at 6 a.m. The Lynn Haven Dive Center has gotten so many supplies. They're now working with the nonprofit Hillier Ignite to charter a plane to the island. They'll be collecting donations at their shop on North Great Neck Road until October 15th. We posted a list of specific items they say they need over on wavy.com. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side.